Staying with health matters now, cardiovascular disease deaths are on the rise in the country. This according to a study done by the researchers at the University of the Free State. At the same time, the latest report from StatsSA found that diseases of the circulatory system account for nearly a fifth of all deaths in South Africa, with cardiovascular diseases being the number one cause of mortality worldwide. Let's talk some more now about this ongoing study with Dr. Walter Janse van Rensburg from the School of Biomedical Sciences at UFS, and he joins us virtually from Bloom. Um, uh, doctor, thank you so much for your time this evening. Some very, very important uh, uh, figures and stats and research that your team has come up with. But take us back to the genesis of the study. It was conceptualized during the 2020, obviously the COVID-19 pandemic. What was the trigger point for this study? Thank you, Marcel. Well, in 2020, when COVID-19 hit our country um, and we went into national lockdown, one of the major complications of COVID-19 was blood clots and, and causing cardiovascular um, complications. And then earlier this year, there was also a, um, a um, report from the FDA saying that vaccines are also related to higher risk of getting a blood clot. Then we thought, but let's go back to the year, the years before COVID and see, but what was going on in our population before COVID hit mm. our country and, and how big a problem was cardiovascular disease and, and the the underlying causes of it in, in our population before the, the pandemic. And now, uh, you did then, you talk about going back, uh, looking at uh, certain case files. Uh, it said that you looked at some 10,000 case files spanning 10 years, which means that you could take the, uh, the health files of one individual um, and actually see how their health is digressing, I suppose, or digressing, um, uh, and for what reason. Uh, why w was there a need to go back that far, and what were you able to find? So according to the statistics of, uh, of Stats South Africa, the deaths in, in, in South Africa with the circulatory disease um, from 2010 up until 2019 and um, before the pandemic hit, um, replaced infectious diseases as the number one cause of death. Mm. So we went back up to 2010 and started from there to see in the files of, of um, medical autopsies that was um, done at our forensic mortuary that that's people with not with known causes of death so it's um, the underlying causes are either unnatural or unknown and we thought that that may be a good code to look at um, to see what the cardiovascular health of these people that died in car accidents or um, in other violent deaths or unnatural causes, um, what was their cardiovascular health like mm. before um, before dying? And, and what were you able to find? Uh, uh, according to uh, some of the major findings, obviously a big focus on men over the age of 50, but are you seeing a difference in those results based on what population group and socioeconomic group uh, these individuals come from? So we stratified the, the population into um, both the ethnicities because it's been well described that ethnically there is a difference between the, the numbers of cardiovascular disease deaths in people from African descent and people from European descent. So we stratified into those um, population groups and we, we found that um, especially men from European descent in South Africa, the, the traditionally white population have got, if you look at the whole population, uh, um, prevalence of atherosclerosis in about 25%. Mm. And if you look at people over 50, that moves up to, to nearly half of that population having atherosclerosis, which is a major risk factor for cardiovascular disease. Now, we only saw about tenth of the the African population having atherosclerosis. So that's a much lower percentage. And it's um, we then 
hypothesized and we went back to, to a theory that was already described in 1971 called the theory of epidemiological transition, where they said um, health patterns can be ascribed to certain um, social, economical and um, the, the status of, of the, the specific population. And taking that our country is, is well known to have a very, in, uh, a very big inequality, having mm -hmm. the highest Gini index in the world of 0 0.63, which is an inequality uh, ratio, we, we hypothesize that due to the historically European population in South Africa are wealthier and thus have a um, higher access to adopt lifestyles that is more conducive to um, cardiovascular disease than um, the the African population that mm. is socioeconomically not um, uh, doesn't have that access. Where does this leave you in terms of what you're hoping to still find out as part of this research? Because when we've had this discussion before, um, it was hypothesized that uh, those coming from poorer socioeconomic groups do not have access to regular exercise, do not have access, more importantly, to the right kind of nutrition, um, and then, of course, also do, do not have access to ongoing good and sound um, medical care. And that had a major impact in certain types of cardiovascular disease. Does that make what you found with regards to um, atherosclerosis very different from previous studies on cardiovascular disease? Not as much. Um, we still f find that, that, cardio, uh, that due to uh, the uh, cardiovascular diseases, especially the coronary ones that uh, um, is associated with your heart, um, mm. is still very low in the African population. But we're seeing a, a steady incline in it. And it's, it's very slow, but that is... is and, and this is pure, pure speculation on our part, is that there is a big um, drive in South Africa to have a better access to better food, better access mm. to healthcare. And that makes the infectious diseases, such as HIV and TB, um, to become less prominent. And that the more lifestyle associated diseases, such as cardiovascular disease, become more prominent and that, that's a trend that we see in South Africa. Um, how much further do you have to go on this research or do you feel like this is going to be an ongoing trend um, as you continue to see how the health of our South Africans changes as its environment um, and situation does? So currently this was only a, a, the, the start of, of this project is trying to get a baseline of what's going on and what's been going on in our population over the last 10 years. Mm -hmm. So um, the, the next step is doing to, uh, to do prospective studies where we're going to select certain um, groups that may be at high risk, see what high risk, um, high, high risk lifestyles we can identify, high risk behaviors we can identify and see how that relates to the cardiovascular health in our population. Okay, important work being done there. Thank you so much for sharing it with us. Dr. Walter Janssen von Rensburg from the School of Biomedical Sciences at the University of the Free State. We thank him for his time this evening.